Yung adlo mga amigo, my name is MJ and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to talk about the duology This Hallowed Vows. So I have read this duology a few weeks ago so hopefully this review or book talk will be detached from the feelings that I have experienced like a few weeks ago. So basically this is like a very concise and proper book review for the duology. So without further ado, let's start. And the very first thing which I wanted to talk about is the plot of the book. This Hallowed Vows is about a girl named Abrella and the world that she lived in is basically this division between the mortal and the fey world. They basically combine in this world. Abrella being human, she lived in the mortal world and she lived in abject poverty with her sister because her mother abandoned them for the fey realm because based as to what I can remember, her mother fell in love with a fey and they lived under the roof of her uncle and the wife of her uncle is very mean to them. She basically mistreats them. They live in the cellar and they have this debt to her, which they need to pay like every month. And when they can't pay every month, like the aunt or the aunt-in-law basically like raises the interest. And there is this time in which Brie was not able to pay back the amount properly. So her aunt sold her sister to the fake king of the Ancelia realm and thus began the adventure of Brie to the Fey world in which she met a lot of people and basically has this conflicting feelings between two princesses from the Silly and the Ancelia courts. Now, the second thing which I want to talk about is Brie, which is the main character. Brie for me is rather irritating. She has this not like other girls mindset in which she kept on saying that she's not special and she's not pretty even though she is special and she is pretty. And I personally, I thought that we left that character, like this type of character back in 2010, 2013, but I guess not. And also there are times that I wanted to strangle Brie for her decisions because there are times that I find her decisions to be very lackluster. However, it is quite common in YA protagonists to be like this. So I just like closed my eyes for that one. The next thing which I want to talk about is Sebastian. So Sebastian actually has this huge role in Brie's life because first of all, he was the best friend of Brie. And personally, I did not hate his character at first, but eventually I hated his character because I just don't like him. Because first of all, he kept on saying that he loves Brie, but eventually tricked her into doing things to, so that he can attain his goals. First of all, he tricked her to friendship because Brie actually has the crown to the Ancelia court. Now Sebastian is actually like half silly and unsilly and he tricked Brie into friendship so that he can get the crown to the Ancelia court. And of course, eventually he tricked Brie to bond with him so that he can get the crown. And third also, he tricked Brie into saying that he is a human being even though he is a prince and in connection to that he tricked Brie into saying that he is only a prince under the silly court even though he's half silly and unsilly and personally i really hate that fact because he kept on saying that he loved her he loved her he loved her he loved her and all of that stuff but eventually do the things that is not love at all and so that uh, based on that i find sebastian to be rather superficial also the author tried to redeem his character in the second book in which Sebastian sacrificed something so that Brie will able to live like a really really good life. However, personally, all I can think about while reading that part is good readings. I just hate this character so much and that redemption, that redemption with quotation marks is absolutely like deserved. The next thing which I want to talk about is Finn. Now Finn is like the main love interest for Brie and personally I find his character to be rather basic and he is a recent dupe in my mind and personally that is coming from someone who has not read any Avatar book so yeah I mean I started reading Avatar like a few pages and I really hated that before and I can totally see him as a recent dupe based on descriptions from TikTok um, he is kind, he is soft-spoken, he basically like, gives Brie like, her own choice yeah, <laughs> or something, but I find him to be very basic. However, if I have read his character when I was 16, 17, I totally get the appeal and would probably have him like one of my biggest crush. 
Now for the plot and the writing style, the plot for me is very basic. I can totally see where it's going. Um, there are plot twists which I have already guessed like in the first part of the book. So it's quite basic for me. I really did not like it, but also it's not that bad. For the writing style, it is also very easy to read. So if you wanted to read a book that is very easy and would push you out of your reading slump, I can recommend this because it is quite easy to read. However, it's, it is quite basic. So for me, the book, the duology is only about three stars overall. However, if you like, again, an easy read, you can pick this book up. So yeah, that is quite a short book talk or book review. However, if you like this or if you have any opinions, just comment down below and let's discuss and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, one mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shine and bright.